Kristo, who was there. Uh, and before that, there was uh, Sri Chandikshit, who used to be the Director General of Police of Uttar Pradesh and Vice President of Vishnu Hindu Parishad. But both of them, uh, Dr. Murli Manohar Joshi and Sri Chandikshit, Murli Manohar Joshi, Joshi was I think he hardly visited six or seven times in his five year term Varanasi. People who had elected him, they were so disappointed by him because he did, did, did not attend any local question or any local issues. He used to say that these are the things which corporators should do, why, why you are asking me and this and that. He was not at all concerned with anything. And at least to say about bigger issues like price rise, this, that, or communalism and so on and so forth at all concerned with anything and least to say about bigger issues like price rise, this, that or communalism and so on and so forth. Bringing disturbance to a city which was never a communal city whose sole achievement in a five year term was to bring disturbance to a city which was never a dominant city. BJP people have no idea of number one Hinduism, what Hinduism is. BJP people have no idea of Indian history. BJP people have no idea of Indian culture. These three things if somebody does not know these three things, can become a natural leader of BJP. One of the biggest local issues that I feel, and I can understand why Murli Manohar Joshi did not visit this town, and why he did not really attend to people's grievances. One of the biggest local issues is connected with the weavers of Varanasi, who are incidentally almost 98% of them, at least in the city. Outside city there are Hindu weavers also, but within the city is Ranch, who are the main producer of this Vanasi sarees and different kind of uh, uh, silk and so on and so forth, are Muslims. Now that is one of the biggest issues. That is bread and butter of this city. a very new experience for Maranasi, but still it has created a lot of uh, interest in people as well because there is an overall image that they, are, they were trying to do something new. Uh, but the problem is that AAP is also not completely free of the taints as such. Taints are not of corruption, but say Arvind Kejriwal didn't finish his term in Delhi as such. Now we can say that he was thrown out, but people say that he didn't uh, really stick to their ears. Why did he not stick to this? Why did he not fight out the battle of their ears?